I'm sure that's Hello and welcome back to Vape the Gathering guys. Um What the okay. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, so to kick things off, Tyler's got a hell of a cold. Yeah, I'm deathly contagious. And I just rolled out of bed a couple hours ago. It's also like ten o'clock at night. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be reviewing a few juices today, uh, um, yet to be open, so these are going to be completely blind reviews, I've, I've never had this stuff on my mod before. I'm going to be reviewing uh, Revenge of the Greeks by Teardrip Juice Co. It's actually still in the wrapper. Still in the wrapper, as you can see. And I'm also going to be reviewing uh, Cosmic Fog's Kryptonite. And uh, Tyler, you'll be reviewing... Uh, so I don't have the bottle on me, but in this little mod of mine, I got... <laughs> this little mod of mine, oh, I'm going to let it shine. I got my first juice from G2 Vapors, Purple Nurple. It's just a little purple grape thing holding the something. Not really sure what the art was. I'm also going to be testing out my favorite Solar Flare from Interstellar. Well, just Stellar, Moon Mountain. Jeez, I can't hold this thing straight. <laughs> so, that's that. And I've also got some slush, which was brand spanking new when I went home the first time for winter break. So, okay, so I'm going to actually do the honors of opening this SOB. Uh, nice. It looks like plastic, but it's actually not plastic. It's actually, uh, Painted glass. Really? I think so, yeah. Or is that really hard plastic? Uh it looks it feels like glass, does it not? Yeah, it's glass. Is it? Either that's or of course it's ceramic. Yeah, it's either that or yeah. And uh the cosmic fog is already open. So uh I have a completely dry coil. And I'm going not to be kidding. It's dry. <laughs> Bone dry like a desert. And I'm going to be dripping some kryptonite on there, just to give it a test. Like my mouth and nose in the morning. Yeah. Jesus. Put some of that shit on there. Fucking colds. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. At least it's not like you're running a fever and everything. Oh, true. Like, I'm also on Advil, so I'm on meds. Yeah, he's popping them pills. Okay, so here's kryptonite, and uh, I'm going to give you a first-hand review. Here we go. I like that. As I said, I'm a big. I'm. I'm becoming more and more of a fan of Cosmic Fog's juices. Um, Kryptonite is a very berry rich. Let me give you another hit. Let's make sure I'm describing this shit to you right. Um, yeah, it's very rich. Uh, it's kind of like a kiwi strawberry shit. So, uh, very rich. I give it a. If it wasn't mixed in with my stupid uh, Becky's booze, which I was, I've been vipping off for the last two days, um, it'd probably be a lot better. But as of taste right now, I'm probably gonna give it a probably like a seven point five, eight point five out of ten. Uh, if you want to do your juice next, okay. okay. So purple miracle going in. Yeah, Purple Miracle is one of those weird flavors, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I first tried it, I was using it on a pen, and that way you can definitely taste the flavor of it, which is like a grape flavor. But going off of this giant tank I got now with higher wattage, I'm actually going to rate it as a 6 because there's like a little tang. It almost tastes tangy in it. There's almost like a tanginess of it. Sadly, you can't taste it if you don't want to catch my disease. Yeah, I don't want to get down with the sickness but at overall, all. Overall, it is a purple flavoring, like a grape flavoring. The juice is actually a little bit tinted purple. <laughs> Found that yeah, out. Yeah, I didn't understand this. Like, my one roommate uh, just bought a, uh, his first vape and his first uh, 
Do you want to get him in here? To see if he wants to, to make a debut? Sure. Let's, let's get him in here. I'll, I'll stay on here and talk about the juice while you go and go get him. Um, our, one, our one roommate just got in the vaping. We just got him in. Um, um, the kryptonite. Uh, his was clear. Mine is actually a tint of brown. I'm not sure why that is. If it just maybe if I shake it, maybe it would turn. Okay, he's on board. Okay, he'll be in eventually. Okay. Uh, so like the juice tints. Uh, if anybody wants to drop a comment and say why the hell they're different, because Manny's is clear and mine is is like an amber. So uh, I'm not sure why the hell that is, but it doesn't smell or taste any different. Like I hadn't tasted it before this, like these are blind completely, but uh, I've been smelling him vaping um, this kryptonite and I was like, kind of like a, oh, spoiler alert, but it was, it's, the taste is like, it's so much better tasting it than smelling it, but just the different tints. That fucking plastic. Okay. <laughs> Drive me fucking insane, yeah, like I know, <laughs> it's my job. Uh, but the, but the juice is, 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 is just different tints and it just confused me as to why that is. But if anybody knows, drop a comment. Uh, I'm going to try to bake the rest of this off and review, uh, Revenge of the Greeks. Hey. Guest of honor, um, Michael, aka Manny from, uh, my room. Uh, and he's here. He just got his first vape. What the heck was that yesterday? Yep. For uh, I think it's like a pen. What the heck is that thing called? Uh, goodness gracious. Great ball Kanger Tech. Oh, the Kanger Tech. Uh, the Evod Double V. Okay. Evod. Okay. Very nice product indeed for your first starter. Absolutely. Um. Uh, is that thing dry yet? It's getting there. Jesus. I could be testing my slush out right now. Yeah, go ahead if you want. I mean. Okay, so got the bell bottom of my Fuchai. Gonna fire this thing up. Didn't get much there. Yeah, see, it's uh, it's kind of a work in progress. I've been trying to fix it because it has a coil build on it, but I'm, I'm not the best at building coil, so I'm trying to save. It still tastes that cereal flavor you have on there. Bird brains. <laughs> Bird brains. So. Yeah. The last of my bird brains. That means I already burned through all the slush I put on there. Oh shit. Slush is, I'd probably rate it as a three on taste levels. It's not really one of those flavors that you want to just use because it's flavorful. Because it's absolutely not flavorful at all. What, slush? Yeah, you barely taste the cherry in there that you're supposed to be tasting. Like, I think like... Like for a slush flavor, I mean, like yeah. basically what slushies are though is it's yeah. basically ice and flavoring. I mean, True. Let's be honest here. So it's one of those ones if you also want to just keep it on a down low with pungency in your room. Yeah, that's a perfect. So it's, it's perfect in that, but I give it a three just because I don't like how I wasn't able to taste the cherry right away. <sighs> just making sure it's not burned. Uh, I'm going to throw the Revenge of the Greeks on there. And I know this is probably going to be even more distorted because I'm switching juices really fast. Uh, Manny, do you have any comments you want to make on the uh, the kryptonite? What you, your thoughts uh, on Yeah, the first uh, juice that I got was Cosmic Fox kryptonite. And it is a pretty nice flavor to start out on. I do enjoy it. It's a nice uh, melon flavor. Mm -hmm. I do enjoy it. I've been going through it a lot faster than I thought I would. Yeah. I had a, I had a full... You just got this thing yesterday and the bottle's like... I had a whole 15 mil and now I'm down to just a quarter of it, not even. Yeah, because like when I got my first pen, I was like, holy crap, he's blowing through juice like a madman. Because like, I was like it's making so nice. those 15 mils last like months. And he goes through in like a couple days. I'm like, holy shit. Whoa. Yeah, I just filled up again. Oh. I just filled up again. Okay, so, so here's the uh, Ooh. Revenge of the Greeks. Here we go. It's a very nice, it's kind of a rich aroma, um, I would say. Oh, freaking inactivity shit. Um, I try? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it's, it's more of a grape, it's almost like a wine flavor almost. Actually, God, that smells good. It smells heavenly. 
It's probably something I'm probably going to be vaping pretty strongly. Uh, if you are into those great kind of huh. more rich flavors, uh, definitely go for this. It's uh, probably the best out of their line. I tried a, their newest product, their newest set. I think that's... Like, because Elevate, they only had, like, four juices from Tear Juice. Almost has a little bit of orange in it, too. Fucking yeah. bird brain still in here. <laughs> it's yeah, it's more like a citrus grape, almost. Uh, let me test it again. Frankenstein is about right. Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that coil, that build needs completely redone and scrapped, basically, almost. Sorry, Cody, but this thing is a work in progress. Yeah, I've been working on it. It's spitting too. Yeah, it's splattering all over the damn place. It just needs some coils. Uh, that's actually Tyler's first RDA, actually. Yeah, thank you, Cody. <laughs> uh, so, definitely gonna rate this thing, the Revenge of the Greeks, at like probably a 7, 7.5. It's not like on T with Kryptonite, because I think Kryptonite's a little better, in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. But uh, it's definitely good juice. I would definitely recommend it. Do um, you have another juice? Yeah, I got one more juice that I'm going to end up reviewing as soon as I can get the freaking bird brains off of this thing. <sighs> yeah, my last juice would be Solar Flare. Still on there? I think I got it off. I don't taste anything anymore. Even though it's still wet. Basically, the only the only thing that's that's really vaping off of that thing is uh, the coil. The coil, yeah. So I've just been sucking in coil. I mean, it's still it's still vape though. Yeah, Tyler's gone through actually almost two bottles of solar flare so far. I so love yeah, it's solar should, flare. I probably shouldn't use this in mine then. Why? Because of the VC level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The it was GPG level, yeah. Um, would suit your little pen there. <laughs> yeah, it would gun, gum that son of a bitch right up quick. But God, that's rich. I really like that. Okay, solar flare, six strength. I'm gonna die. Might be getting a little dry, so just you might want to check the, the wicks there for yeah. I'll check it. Just because if you take okay. a dry head, that's gonna choke you right out. Actually, I taste the flavor much better on the other day. Oh, yes. Yeah, I told you already. Either, so, um, hearing that, he already said that I went through two whole, almost two full bottles of solar flare. He's got a quite eclectic taste for solar flare. He should be able to describe it word for word. Yeah. it's <laughs> So, what the flavor actually is, it's a lemonade pomegranate. And if you like, like, a really sweet flavor, it, the lemonade definitely puts a punch in it. So, it's almost like... You're drinking like the most sweet lemonade you ever tasted, but then you get the burn with the nicotine. Except I don't think it's the nicotine that burns so much as the lemonade because um, when I was reviewing Zombie Blood, I didn't taste much of the nicotine burn in the back of my throat. Mm -hmm. What's how you doing? With uh, it's lemon. called Tear Drips uh, Red yeah. of the Greeks, three milligram. Red of the Greeks, you mean? But with the sort of <laughs> fire, the lemonade. <laughs> Definitely gives it a good kick. <laughs> How the fuck did I miss that? I'm so putting in letters that aren't even there. It's Revenge of the Geeks. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Oh my god, the sleepless so. brain kicking in. So if you're ever on a drive home and you want to wake up really quickly, I would actually recommend Solar Flare, but it is a required taste, even though you like it, right? Yeah, I like Solar Flare. But you haven't tried it yet, so I will actually rate it a 9.5. I do, I, honestly, I do like uh, re, uh, re, Kryptonite over Revenge of the Geeks, so. Um, but I'll probably, I'll probably still vape the hell out of that shit, though. It's I'm actually scared to use RDAs, especially this Frankenstein piece of work. Well, actually, I like mine. My Voodoo operates pretty smooth. I just need to, I might need to change this it. This Kryptonite has no yeah. yeah. So. His doesn't. That's probably why his, my... Uh, the nicotine is giving the flavor or the, oh, color, the color. Yeah, I'm not sure though. Compared to mine, that has no color. Right. Ways. You see, that's what I'm saying. Like it's completely amber. That versus is weird, isn't it though? And it's the same flavor. Look at this. All right, as comparison. Yeah. Right. You need getting to, closer. So um, you have to turn it to the here. It's yeah. the side where there's no. 
Yeah, I'm turning it right to there. here, and then turning that to there. Okay, now you see the difference? This is Manny's right here, and then this one's mine. So, like, look at the difference in the shade. I don't know what the hell causes that, but... One shade's definitely darker than the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. <laughs> so... But, yep, yeah, uh, that was our review. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, definitely any support would be helpful. Uh, and I guess uh, that... Uh, the next can... time there should be a giant backdrop right here. Yep, Tyler's working on a piece of artwork that we're going to have as a backdrop for this, so uh, we're not seeing just uh, my TV. Yeah. Uh, so, Cody, I hope you like it. Um, you haven't seen anything I've done yet with that. Cody, if you, you have a webcam on your freaking laptop, yeah. start... Cody. Ethan, get on the freaking YouTube channel and start posting shit. I'm going to come after you, motherfuckers. <laughs> and on that note, we'll see you next time. See ya.